Right, so my magazine spread is ready to go, and I'm going to send this to a colleague in the company, and they'll print it out. But before I do that, I need to make that everything is together in the document. So all the fonts there, all the pictures there, everything comes together. Now, there's a tool to do that called packaging. But before I show you packaging, I'm going to show you a little thing called pre-flight. And this, as you might imagine, is a little industry term, and it's getting it ready for flight, so for packaging to another place, so it's things you do before you send it off. Down here, we see that there are five errors in the document, and if I double-click on this, I can see that the er errors are links. So open up the links, there's missing links. Open it up, and we see that there's some images that are not linked. So I can click on here and give me information. So the link file is missing, okay. In the linked file panel, use the relink button to find the linked file. So what does that mean? Now the links panel, I can open it in two ways. There's one here on the right, it says links. I can click there and it opens. Alternatively, window links. Okay, so we can see there's question marks here, meaning that we the uh, InDesign program can't find these programs. If I double click on this one, so double click on the question mark there, the image is IMG 1607, and we can see it's just there. So click open. Okay, so it's relinked the directory and found a relinked three missing links, which means that it's already worked out the rest of them exist there, which is great. Now we've got one more to go this one. Click. Now I happen to know that it's actually there, so click open. Oops, that's the wrong one. I made a mistake. What do I do? Very simple. Undo. So I've got to find that image of the girl with her cap on. And there she is. 1604. Okay, which means that when I originally inserted it, it was called new.png. At some point, I renamed it to 1604. Any problem? Click that, click OK. And you'll see that the question mark's gone away there, and she is correct. So we now have no errors, so my document's ready to go. I'm now ready to package it and send it off. So, really simple file, package. Now, it's saying here that there's um, 13 link, that there's 13 RGB color space. Don't worry about this, this will be fine. So, click. We can actually go through different things here. Um, nothing too much problem here. So, click package, save. Okay, I can fill this out. So, the file name, contact, Chris Parker, company, University of Manchester. I can fill the rest of this. So that when my other company picks up, they can say who I'm from and give me a phone call, give me a fax, give me an email, but we'll leave it blank for now because this is the only example. So click continue. I'm going to save it to desktop, so uh, spread packaged, okay, and click package. Now, if I look at a desktop, I'm going to bring one up here. I've now got this little folder, spread package, open it up, and here we have spread package. There we are. I can give it to another machine and they can open up everything, fonts and all. So that's how you package up your uh, work for InDesign. Um, most important thing is remember about pre flight down the bottom here. Make sure that's all ready to go, all working, and then package it and go.